Hi, if you're new to my channel, I am Lori, and you are watching Da 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 Da. Hi, everybody. So, if you can see, you can see from my title, I'm gonna do starting tomorrow through Saturday. I'm gonna do a 72-hour readathon. And anybody can participate that wants to. You don't have to be part of the, um, you know, you don't have to be doing mine and my girl Ashley Book Babe 88's uh, readathon, which is Chiller Thriller 2.0. You don't have to participate in that in order to do the 72 hour readathon. And you don't have to read spooky books. It's just a good way for if you are to get you started on those spooky books and to read as much as you can for the first three days. There's not like you don't have to stay up for the whole 72 hours. Nothing crazy like that. You just read whatever you can when you're awake. Try it even if you finish one book or you don't even finish a book and you only get like 75 pages. I mean, get like like 25, 50 pages away from finishing one book. It don't matter. It don't even matter if you read 25 pages just as long as you participate. Um, yeah, so it'll be like I said, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Three days. Just three days. And like I said, you can read whatever you want. I'm going to share with you some of the books I'm hoping to read. As soon as I move stuff out of the way. Of course, my number uno uno, numo uno, how you say it, is going to be Crush by Tracy Wolf. Because I'm so excited. I mean, I already like cheated just a tiny bit just to get a feel on how I was feeling about it. And I'm already in love. I only read like seven chapters, which is hardly anything because this thing is like these chapters are so short. Like I'm on chapter seven and that's only page 31, you guys, page 31. And I'm already sucked in. Like a book hasn't done this to me in a, lately because I've been having a lot of problems lately getting into books. Especially like this last week, I just haven't been wanting to read anything. I had like a video where I was doing like a... Um, you know, a vlog, and I just wasn't in the mood to post it. I didn't like it. But in that vlog, I think I finished, let's see, I think I finished Nevermore. Or did I finish Nevermore before then? I can't remember. But I know I finished Name Burn the Ashes. I read um, my friend Brendan. Brendan Reads is his channel. I read his short poetry collection. But, yeah, I just have not, like, been in a really big reading mood. Like, I started Wondersmith and put it down. I started um, The Beautifuls, put it down. <sighs> yep. I w tried to read some more in, um, what is it called? I tried to read some more in um, From Blood and Ashes or Blood and Ash, whatever it's called. And I just couldn't get into that. I tried reading, uh, what was that one? Um... Uh, Ray Bear, put that down. Yeah, I'm just, I don't know. So hopefully for the, this readathon, 72 hours will help me get back into wanting to read. But, oh my gosh, just those few pages. I did not want to put this book down. But I had to at least get it back into the world and see how it started out after the last book. And oh my gosh, I want to read and read and read and read it. I want to know what all happens. But I heard from people that the ending of this book is going to kill me. So I'm really scared. Because I love that book so much. Another book I want to try to read during that 72-hour readathon is Cemetery Boys. I might not even finish any of these books. I might just, like, read a little bit in each of them just to get started. But there's certain ones. That's by Aidy and Thompson, in case you want to know. But there's somebody who I want to read. I want to try to read... Um, um, I'm do a whole bunch of people are reading Dune in October, so I'm gonna start that this week. I only have to read 120 pages this week, and really I have until the following week <laughs> because you know we have five weeks and this week is so short because it starts on Thursday. So my book only has like 400 and something pages. Some people have books that are that are uh, bigger, that are longer, whatever you want to say. Mine is, because all these appendix, mine's 474 without the appendix. So 
I have like 120 most of the time that I need to read. So I have, there's five, I think there's five um, weeks this time, I believe. So I know we get paid five times, payday wise. And I think Halloween is on the 31st, which is a, of course it's the 31st. I mean, I, I think it's on a Saturday. That's what I meant to say, which is of course the 31st. So yeah, I think, and I think it was the readathon. I, th I mean, the read -a I mean, I forget who the hosts are. I, I talked about this already in one of my other videos and I mentioned who the two hosts were. But anyways, I know that they were um, saying like 20 or 25% a week, but there's five weeks, so yeah. And of course, this week starts out, which is Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So it's only three days. So I, pop, I, put, I figured out where I have 120 and I have until next Friday to read it or next Saturday, whatever you want to say, whichever way you start your week as. But I have five weeks to read four sections. So yeah, should be able to do that easy. And of course, me and Brendan, I mean, oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, me and Brendan's gonna be uh, me, Brendan, and um, oh my gosh, I forgot her, I forget her names. I should have wrote this down. My mind just went blank. Like really, really blank, you guys. I don't know what is going on with me, like with names lately. Luna, Luna, that's her name, Luna, sorry. I can't remember her channel's name right now, but we're gonna be, like I told you guys before, hosting a read along for Addie, I mean, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Swab. Um, that comes out on the 6th, and then the following week, I don't remember exactly what the date is, we'll be starting that for a week. I know that ain't part of the readathon right now, but I'm just, I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, what else? Mm -hmm. Sorry, Hannah made the rocket chair move. <laughs> uh, and then uh, me and Drew are going to be buddy reading the Inheritance Game, Sky Hunter, and um, Fable. And I think Ashley's still going to participate in, the, I mean, is going to read with us for, on with Fable. I am, yeah, I was going to send her a copy, but someone else sent her a copy, so I sent her something else, because you guys, um, she's, go, she's going on vacation for like four or five days with one of her best friends, um, so she won't be able to open her present until she gets back, but I did order her some stuff today that she'll, that will get to her house on Monday, so make sure if you guys aren't following my girl Ashley Book Babe 88 that you do so so you can see what I got her when she does do her video and yeah I know this is all like rambly and rambly like I'm not like centered on one certain thing but you guys know me I'm very rambly I just say whatever pops into my brain which is sometimes could get you into trouble but what can you do um what else did I want to talk about before I show you this book that I got today um, uh, I know, um, my friend Erica, they're going to be reading Dune as well. The Legendary Reader, if you guys do not follow them, please do so because they're awesome. I just love them so much. Um, yeah. Um, but they're going to be reading Dune. And I just saw just now through my thing that their announcement just went up. They're do they, they came up with a readathon that they're going to be doing in December. So go watch that announcement. I'm going to watch it as soon as I get this set up. Um, and filmed. But yeah. But let me know if you guys want to participate. Like I said, you don't have to read if you're not into spooky books and stuff like that. Halloween, you don't have to do that. Just read whatever you want to read if you want to participate. Because I'd love for whoever wants to, to participate because it'll be a lot of fun. Um, now, unless something else pops into my brain, I'll show you the book I got today, which I already talked about 
well, I showed a picture of it when I um, filmed my TBR for for October for mine and Ashley's Chiller Thriller 2.0 readathon. And I finally got it today because I wasn't sure if it was going to get here <laughs> or when it was going to get here. But I got today my White Fox book by Sarah F F F Faring? 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 I know... Bethany, beautiful book, Bethany, she loved this book. She said it's very it's creepy, mysterious, and all that kind of fun stuff. So, dark. So, I'm super excited, but I got some stuff with my with it because I ordered it from Books and Books, I think is the name of the, pla the place that I ordered it from. So, the author announced that if you did that, that you would get a couple little things. And I put already one of them in here, and then the other two are sitting in here. I'll show you what we got a book play. Usually, if I can't, um, if if the book plate's too big to go under the author's name, I put it under the dedication, and that's what I did this time. So there's the dedication, and there's the the um, signed book plate. It says, with love in September 2020. And then we got this bookmark that sh that um, promotes White Fox. And it has some blurps on there. And then look at the back on the other side. The side I'll be using as a bookmark. It says, a remote family estate, a missing movie star mother, a lost film script that's Part fairy tale and part clue to everything. So that's cool. I love this strip from the movie strip. But this is awesome. Look at this. It's like an old fashioned postcard. Ain't that cool? And then there's a seal. But look at on this, like, like a po like it's written on, like it was really sent to somebody. I can't read what it says because I'm not very good at um, handwriting. But it says 19, read and handwriting, but it says it was 1924. Then it says number fine white fox. So that's cool. I don't know if this is something that the mother sent to the daughters. I don't know. But I can't read this. It says darling something. We will all be thinking of you on the 12th. And feel that, I'm trying to read it, feel that. Some day before long, you will be with us, all of us. I mean, it is very warm. I don't know what that says. Warm something. I can hardly. I don't know. Smile. I don't know. I can't tell. I can't read all this. But anyways, it's really cute though. I'm just not very good at reading cursive. I can't even hardly write cursive, let alone read cursive. But I still think it's really cool. Like, oh my gosh, that is just gorgeous. Like, really gorgeous. And like I said, I really love the seal. Like, oh my gosh. And I love the spine. Like, I kind of want to take the um, the book, you know, the, the dust jacket off and show this. Oh my gosh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Like, it looks like a movie script thingy. I don't know what you would call it, but it really looks beautiful. It says, White Fox, all the way through it. And, of course, Sarah, I mean, in, in her, and Sarah's last name, which is Faring. And as you can tell, it's about this, these two girls that get sent away from their, their dad sends them somewhere after their uh, movie star mother disappears. And then so many years later, they come back and they're trying to, they find out that the, um, that their mom's script that was, I don't know if, it, if the script was supposedly lost or what, but it, they found out it was like found and used for something, maybe a movie or something. And they start to find out about their mom and just their life in general, you know, the mysteriousness of the family in general. And like I said, Beautiful Book Bethany, Beautiful Book Bethany, if I could talk, said it was really nice and spooky and interesting. And yeah, so 
So I'm super excited to read this. Yeah. But that is it. Let me know if anybody wants to participate. And again, go watch my friend Erica, the legendary reader. If you haven't subscribed, go subscribe to her and watch her announcement video that she has that just went up. And again, if you haven't subscribed to my girl Ashley, BookBabe88's channel, do so because both of them are very awesome. And whenever I need both of them, they're there for me. So yes, they're awesome. So please go and subscribe to their channels if you haven't already. Yeah. And I'm going to let you guys go. Let me know if anybody's read this or if anybody plans on reading it because it looks really good. And look at the green. I love green. You guys know that. And let me know if you're going to participate in the 72-hour readathon. And if not, that's okay. But let me know what you plan on reading this weekend. Spooky. If it's spooky, not spooky, <coughs> whatever. Just let me know some of your reading plans. And I will let you guys go. And I will talk to you in the next one. If you guys like this video, you guys know the drill. Give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please think about subscribing. And if you do subscribe, hit that bell icon so you'll know whenever a video like this is up for your viewing pleasure. And I will talk to you guys in my reading vlogs. 